Today we're going to talk about crimping hydraulic fittings and hose with the Kirk KH60 crimper. First we want to talk about safety. You want to be sure you have some good eye protection. This machine produces 60 tons of force, so hands, fingers, eyes don't hold up too well if there's a problem. You want to be sure you read and understand the operator's manual. That's got all the information you're going to need to safely crimp with this machine. You also need to consult the crimp specifications with what hose and fittings you're using so you know how to operate the machine properly. You can crimp other manufacturers' fittings and hose with this machine, but to do it safely you need to obtain information from them on the diameters and settings for the machine. So for the initial setup, you want to be sure you lift the crimper by the handle up here on top. That balances it out, makes it safe, be sure you put it on a sturdy bench. You also want to be sure you plug it directly into a grounded outlet, no extension cords. When the machine comes from the factory, it comes with a little red plug in the hydraulic reservoir. You want to remove the plug and install the vent fitting before you operate the machine. <coughs> so before, before setup, you want to be sure you lubricate the cone base, which is the recessed area right here, and the die set. So you can see where the fingers are. When you install the die set, when you set up the machine, you're going to install the die set. You want to be sure it's aligned properly and it's not like that. So get the die set set in the machine. Then you're going to take your hose and coupling, put it in the die set. And then you're going to take your pusher donut, put it over the die and make sure the die is completely contained in the donut. Set your depth. This is your ram pusher, it just goes right on the, the hydraulic ram, slides in place, make sure it's seated. Now you're good to go. Now you need to make sure you got the right micrometer setting, which is going to be in your crimp specifications. We already reviewed this for the 3 8 hose and fitting, we've got our set at 76. This just turns, how it operates is this is going to go down, actuate this switch, and that will complete the crimp. So at this point, we're ready to crimp. All you do is, it's got a foot pedal, real convenient, you just step on the foot pedal until the, the unit stops. So you hear it stop, let the ram retract, go ahead and pull the pusher out, pull the donut off, push up on the hose and fitting you just crimped. That's your completed crimp fitting. Then you're going to want to use a caliper or a micrometer and you want to measure it across the flat areas where the die contacted the fitting. You're going to measure it in four places. You're going to take the average of those four measurements and compare it to the measurement in the crimp specs. If it's a little too big, you can crimp it again, but if it's too small, you have to start over. You don't want to over crimp, you especially don't want to under crimp the fitting. That's crimping with the Kirk KH60 Hydraulic Crimper.